everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's me again alex and we're back for another episode of my international student journey here in canada so for today's video i wanted to share and to talk about nursing programs here in canada <laughs> again Alex before anything else don't forget to like and subscribe here in my youtube channel so for today's video I wanted to share with you my thoughts and my opinions about nursing programs that are available here in Canada a lot of your consultant or your agency will offer different programs that would help you to become an international student but if you wanted to pursue your nursing career here in Canada I want you to choose a good and right program that would help you along the way to become a Canadian registered nurse. Becoming an international student here in Canada is expensive and I want you to look at it as an investment for your future career as a registered nurse here in Canada. Disclaimer, by the way, um, this is purely based on my experience and I just wanted to share with you some tips and um, op my opinions about my journey and I hope you can learn from it. So if you watched my previous video about the process of becoming a Canadian registered nurse and if you fully understand about the requirements when it comes to your education, I want you to choose a good program that would help you to be comparable for RN here in Canada. That's why if you decide to become an international student, it is important to choose a nursing program that would help you along the way to become an RN. So I have top three suggested nursing programs that could help you to be eligible to take your INCLEX here in Canada. First is Community Mental Health. This is a one-year program and this program builds on the foundation of mental health and it explores current issues and trends in mental health here in Canada. So the reason why I suggest this program is that one of my friends, my colleagues, took this program and she had the eligibility to take the INCLEX. So I'm not really saying that when you take this program 100% you'll get a legibility to take the inflex no what i've mentioned in my previous video there are lots of factors that could really affect this could help you on your papers but this doesn't guarantee for you to be eligible to take the inflex so this might help you okay second is gerontology gerontology is ideal for nurses who are interested in enhancing their foundational knowledge and building leadership skills caring of the health of the older adults for anybody who doesn't have any nursing experience and with this program, this could help you with your safe practice because it, it comes with 112 hours clinical placement. So I highly suggest for those who do not have any experience in a nursing field, I want you to take this program, but take note this program is really in demand. So you really have to book ahead of time for this program. The clinical hours as what I've heard with one of my friends who took this program really helped her with her safe practice. So this might help you. So I highly suggest for you to take this program. Third, the last but not the least, palliative care multidiscipline. This is the program that I took. This is a one year program. Actually, I made a different video talking about the entire program. So kindly check it out. So me and my colleagues, my classmates, most of us, we have the eligibility to take the INCLEX. So I do believe that taking this program could really help you to become eligible to take your INCLEX. I have also other friends who took different programs such as Personal Support Worker Program and the other one she took um, Healthcare Administration. Um, unfortunately, all of them, they didn't get the eligibility for INCLEX. They are comparable for LPN or RPN and so they took CPR and E. So that's why I want you to uh, take those top three suggested nursing programs that I mentioned because me and my friends and my colleagues who took those programs, even if it's just a one-year program, we have the eligibility to take the INCLEX. Actually, there's no assurance that if you took those three programs, you are eligible to take the INCLEX. There's no assurance for whatever program that you take that you could have the eligibility for INCLEX. But with me and my colleagues who took those programs, I just wanted to share with you that all of us got the eligibility to take the INCLEX. And I think it was a, a smart decision that for us, we took those programs and, you know, it saves time and effort. We don't have to pay for that bridging course again, or we don't have to pay for that 
a bridging program again just to get our RN. Overall, there are different factors that could really affect with your NNAS assessment or report. So I think that's all. I hope you understand what I mean, you know, um, with those three programs that I suggest for you to take. I hope that it could really help you to you know achieve your canadian rn dream here in canada and i i wish you all the best and thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye